now she's proving that good makeup doesn't have to be expensive. Sunday Times beauty director Sarah Jussell is here with her pick of the best budget beauty buys. Good morning. I love good this. Good morning. Yes. So you said it. We are going to show everyone today that you don't have to spend a fortune mm -hmm. on makeup. There are so many brilliant formulas out there, textures, brands that are doing it so well for yeah. under ten pounds. It's. I mean, it's definitely come a very long way. There was a while that you yeah. had to go a little bit higher end for certain products. Totally. But now it's all kind of evened out a bit, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, look, we've got foundations in there, we've got mascara. So let's start with liquid lipsticks. Let's. John, do you love a liquid lipstick? Well, listen, more men are wearing makeup nowadays. Totally. And it's and, and, and funny enough, I just finished doing a pilot where I play a makeup artist in okay. a TV show. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. OK, well, let's You're teach you some things speed. today. So liquid lipsticks, L'Oreal Paris. So are these kind of like these, like, mattifying? Here, you go in for the lips. The one that you John's saw? like, and I'm out. <laughs> the ones that are quite matte. So these are, when they go on your, I'll do this on me because I've actually tried to do it and it, it's so and long lasting. Very pigmented. Yeah. yeah, so when people think liquid lipstick, they think, oh, it's going to go everywhere yeah. and it's really messy. If I just show you. Ooh, that's nice. So it's not going to go out the lines. You can really work with precision because if you look at the tip there. Yeah. So it's once you've done your lip, you can then go in and I really mean, create the shape. So you wouldn't necessarily need a liner. No. Because you could stay quite precise. So it goes on, it looks creamy, and it's going to dry matte. So I'll leave that there, and we'll see by the end. We will not be okay. able to... It, it won't matte. And how matte does, is it? Because, you know, sometimes you feel like you literally... <laughs> Think of that. Yeah. It's the opposite. <laughs> you will be fine. Okay. I promise you. No, it, I like it, this colour. So do they include a moisturiser in no, those? No, well, they're not... It's not It's not a lip balm, but it's not going to dry either. Okay. I've, I've worn it for work, and by the end of the day, it's perfect. Still I, like, I like that colour. Such a good colour, and you'll see how it dries. Yeah, OK, cool. Orange and also, just to point out here, shade range, brilliant. Uh, shade. Okay. There are from nudes, corals, oranges, reds. Because that's the thing with reds, you kind of want... So I always go for an orangey red, some people yeah. like the bluey reds, for your skin tone, isn't it? There are so many different shades here, so Fat. it's worth looking at that. So we're going to start our colour palette here and keep okay. going. here we are. Next, nice. foundation. <laughs> so, as I mentioned with foundation, it's something that people originally thought they had to spend so much money mm. on for it to not look cakey. Well, I'll... I'll I find it so hard with foundation. I always find either that, that it's, a, it's too dark, the yeah. colour, or too pale, or too grey, or just not, or too pink. Just never the, never the right tone. So I always end up with about five of these. And you're mixing them, and them all mixing. together. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you Revlon. So this is Revlon's Candid Foundation. And the reason why I like it is because, yes, it's a foundation, mm -hmm. but it's very, very dewy and moisturising. So it's got skincare benefits mm -hmm. in it, which is rare for it to be under £10. So if I just show you a little... Blurb there. Good colour. How does that look colour wise? I wear a little bit a light, little light for, you. for me. Yeah. Let me try sand beige on John. Let's see. And look how I didn't even do the full pump, and look how much comes out That's there. That's too light for me, isn't it's it? It's too light yeah. for you, mm -hmm. but you do. You should never match your foundation on your face. We would need to do it on your on face. your face. Oh, sorry, not you should never hand. match it on your hands. I know because that's I've made hands that are not the so same colour. And then taking it home and John, your hand looks amazing. Yes, yeah, that's it. It's not. <laughs> My you, hand is you twenty years younger. You should do more with that hand. <laughs> is there? Um, so let's see what. Is, are there a couple colours here? Yeah, so there's over so, thirty it, shades in the range. It's oh, okay. okay to mix colours. Can, oh, yeah, colors you can together. mix, but because there's over thirty and the shade range is so this one's good, good, you shouldn't need to. Look. What have we got there? I just would really like to find where I don't have to mix, but this. Ooh, look, that's really good. So that is cocoa. That's a really go. good shade for you. I can call you Coco. Okay. And it, even, I think I'd like that. even if it's a tiny bit lighter on your face, your face is a tiny Look, that's bit lighter. Good. That's very good. OK. Highlighter. Now, people are scared of highlighter, aren't they? They just think we're going to look like Glitter Balls, Tin Man. People are scared. See, I love it. Me too. Really Me too. It. But it takes a lot to prove to people that they should use it. So this is sleek makeup. And what I love about sleek makeup is they have every skin tone in mind when they're mm -hmm, creating mm -hmm. highlighters. And so, does that have a slight shimmer in it? Yes, yeah, so it's got a slight shimmer in it mm -hmm. and it's got powders and cream. So if I just show you, so I'm like, oh, that looks quite scary. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That OK, but then if you give me your hand, we can go I over. Know, yeah, I've got left on my hand. There you go. So when it... It's just that really subtle. So oh, if you yeah, imagine, okay. look it's at not, that. That's nowhere near as frightening as it is. No, it, it looks it? way scarier on that. And then when you apply it, you can just imagine it on the cheekbones. It's like having a permanent ring light with you at all times. Ooh, it's just going to add that nice. lovely, <laughs> lovely glow. Yes. Right. Okay. Now, MS. People do not think about beauty enough when they think MS. There mm -hmm. are so 
many good products at Marks and Spencers. So this, I mean, the name says it all. Luminosity Liquid Radiance Illuminating Highlighting oh. Tint. Basically everything in yes. one. Everything you Basically, could want, John. You, you are gonna go. Let's show you this. Okay, so. Do that one, because I don't have. Okay, so. If I put that on, Ooh, that's now, nice. you you just massage it in with your, yeah, just use one finger. I mean. Oh, that's good. It is so good. So what you would do with that, and then if you go like this, you can see how it catches the light. Yeah, look, look at that. Look. I would shine, I'd, I'd look flashy. I'd sparkle. <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't <laughs> you sparkle, that, you honey. would glow. I would glow. So you want to put this on under your foundation or in your, with your foundation, mix it ah, together. Okay. Or once your foundation's on, you can just dab it on. So you can use it as a bit of a primer? Yeah. Okay. Primer, definitely. mix, or on top. It's very nice. NYX eyeshadows. Now, this really excites me because normally when eyeshadows are under £10, the pigment aren't as good. Yeah. Um, but these are oh, that brilliant. That would be like my everyday colour. Yeah, so, and if I just show you, I'm not even going to use a brush, if I just show you nice there, space. so you can see it... I mean, it. it's such a lovely, subtle, oh, yeah, nice wearable like colour. It's like a rose And you can just keep kind of layering color. it on. That's yeah, that's you. lovely. And then, John, I think red is more your shade. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you... Oh, that would look gorgeous on your eyes. He's not sold. He's not sold. <laughs> no, I, listen, listen, when I do, when any characters I play, sometimes if it's a bad, bad character, I do a little bit of shadowing mm -hmm. around yeah. the eye. And if there's any of, if it's a happy, bright character, we do a little bit of light shading yes. around there. So, yeah. Well, this Ooh, is, red. to me, yeah. this is your everyday, great for summer holidays. You can pack it away. And, you yeah. know, you're getting six shades for under £10. So, a great time to experiment and see yeah, what shades work for you. Okay, eyebrows. We have got the Rimmel Wonderful Brows. So, if you are someone that, Hates dilly dallying around with a pencil. Mm -hmm. This is where. This is what I need. A little. Brow, right, let's do your brows. My for you, brows John. are a little. Okay, uneven. you swap with me. Look. Girl. Okay, so well, all we need to do is just brush them up. So can you see oh, yeah. there? It's, it's got a more of a. It's got a little colour in it. It's got as well, a little bit it? of colour. Great. It's a little bit like a root touch up. So actually, if your brows are going grey, you can use it to colour them in. And it's meant to just give a healthier. Yeah. Fresher feel rather than a new brow shape. Yeah, because that's the thing. Sometimes that's scary. You look like you've been attacked the other to side, I don't, permanent marker. I don't want to be Should uneven. I do a different sh different colour? For this? Oh, yeah, go on. So if if you were in a you know like a uh, in need of doing your roots on your hair, yes. you could also use this as a quick you touch could, up. You could, but there are the so front. there are so many good hair root touch ups. I you would, might need you might need a bigger one. I think this, be this might take you. You might be late for work if you use this one. <laughs> right, what else have we got? Okay, we've got let's. Just don't yes. it. Oh right, okay, we're gonna just whiz through. So brilliant eyeliner. I mean, I anyone who struggles because it creates too much of a thick line, this is Ooh, like yes. the thinnest. Line yeah. you oh, could I ever use. Wow. Yeah. And it's sport, it's sweat proof, so you can even go to the gym in it should you wear. Can you swim? You well they say you can do gym, spinning and makeup. gym. Some people do. Are you Some kidding? Some people do. Have you ever worked out in Los Angeles? <laughs> what, you have to wear makeup to the No, gym? ever. I am people gonna are done. <laughs> but wow. that is a brilliant liner. Yeah, that's lovely. Um now where people go wrong a lot with makeup is they do their whole makeup and by midday. It's gone. Mm -hmm. It's because they haven't set their makeup. So what all you need to do, this is Nip and Fab, and a lot of people think Nip and Fab is skincare, but there are some great makeup brands. So you want to tap the majority off, Hello. and then you're just going to dust it on anywhere where you're prone to shine. So Isn't that a waste, though? You put it all on there, and then you dust it off, and half of it's left well, on your hand and not on the brush. Well, I think you need to be so quite back in there with it. Look. Yeah. So tap just it go, in the... tap, okay. tap, tap. Exactly. Right, that's what I do. Do uh, that. <laughs> well, you can tap it back in, but also don't be too heavy handed. So you're not tapping off fortunes and fortunes. Yeah. It's just a little bit. Right. And then you want to dust any shine proof areas and don't be afraid of the colour. It doesn't go on okay. too. No, I like this. I always like the banana colours. I'm excited about this. You're excited I, about well, this? Well, no, because a lot of times when I sit in a makeup chair for, for television, they want to put um, something under, under the eye, eyes. Yeah. And I think it actually makes my eyes and the wrinkles around there look worse. So. If that's happening, it's not hydrated enough underneath there. So you need to start with a really good hydration mm -hmm. of, of a moisturiser or you, if you do eye patches before something. And then you want to take it... It could be using too much, so you want to just dab it on like that. So you can either dab it straight onto the eye or you can put it on your hand and, and then a little bit. dab it on. But nice. this is the most brilliant one. Really good shade range. It's Maybelline anti Instant Anti-Age Eraser. Nice. The sponge is great. John, That's we'll try it later. That's okay. going in my bag. OK, and then the last two we've got here. Kiko, <laughs> I love a multi-purpose pencil. Mm -hmm. This is lip and cheek. Oh, so sweet. it's just like that. Yes. That's good to take on holiday. Brilliant for holiday. And you can actually put a little bit on eyes as well. So it's a really, really easy to Lovely. blend. My gosh, my hand is like, lastly. and last but not least, Primark £2.50 mascara. Now, 
when a colleague used this at work, people were like, have you got fake lashes on? No way. This is your evening dramatic oh. lash. Okay. It is so good. And if you take it out of an evening, you normally lose it. So the, the price point is perfect. You know, if it's in the bag, someone will take Let's it. Let's finish with a little bit of lash okay. for John. Do you want done. me to read this while you get uh, glammed? I got it. So ready? Thank you very much, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <All> right. <laughs> Thank you, guys.